Julie Warren, massage therapist and birth doula. Uh, today I want to talk to you about working on your hips, your back, all those muscles that are probably by now starting to get really sore uh, because your spine is probably turning into a C from bending over the computer, watching TV all day long when we want it to be an S. So that's the natural curve of your spine. Uh, I use a lacrosse ball uh, in the morning uh, and throughout the day to keep the, that, um, the muscles in the, from the bottom of my spine to the top of my spine from getting too tight so that my body wants to stay in that position. So I'm going to start from the bottom of my spine and work my way up and show you with this how to work on it. So all you need is a wall and a ball. Uh, it doesn't have to be a lacrosse ball, it can be a tennis ball or your dog's two toy or whatever. Um, so I'm going to place the ball right here. If you want to move your leg like that, it's right in the bend. You're going to set it right there. You're going to lean up against the wall. Woo, I can feel the pressure already on this side. And lean slightly forward. The ball's not moving, you are. And just take a few deep breaths in and out. Woo, I'm going to go fast for the sake of time on this. Uh, but you can spend a lot of time here if you'd like. And then you can start to move your hip up and down. Again, ball is staying kind of where it's at. You're just moving your hip up and down slightly. Slight movement, small hip, small movement. Up, down. It's like you're shaking your hips. And then you're going to go back and forth. Small, small movement again. You see I'm barely, barely moving at all. You're staying in that trochanter, that little area where all those muscles are attached and you're releasing them there. And if you want to get funky, you can get, I like to do a circular motion just around it to get that. And again, spend as much time as you want to. Keeping the ball where it's at, roll to your back. And now the ball is right in the middle of your butt cheek, <laughs> uh, your piriformis. We're working on that. You're just going to roll between your tailbone and your middle of your butt cheek uh, for as long as you need to. And you're going to notice, you're going to feel the spots that you really need to work. You're going to be like, woo, that's a spot. Work on that spot. <laughs> okay, so that's the lower. Um, that's going to, and of course, do both sides. It's going to release everything all around your hip flexors, all the way into your, <laughs> your piriformis. It's going to take some pressure off your lower back if you're having lower back pain. So that's, now we're releasing some of this pain in here, okay, that we might be having and some of the strain. And if you're having upper back pain, really easy. Take the ball, put it behind you. I have a picture right now. And between your shoulder blade and your spine, don't touch your spine. You're just going to roll up and down. My hair is annoying. Up, down, ah, oh, feels good. And again, as much as you need to do. I'm going to drop it down and kind of get to the lower part of my shoulder blade. Up and down. Again, do not touch your spine. We're just working on the muscle in between your shoulder blade and your spine. And then go ahead and do the other side. And then I finish that with a good doorway stretch. Um, one hand on either side. Breathing is the most important part of any stretch that you do. So I'm going to lean into my stretch. Then I'm going to take a deep breath in. Then I'm going to exhale into the stretch. That's when you're going to feel your muscle relax. So that's how to turn your spine from a C back into an S the way it's supposed to be so that your body will function properly and you will not have uh, pain. <laughs> so if you have any questions about that, uh, you can uh, message me or uh, post them down below. And uh, if you have any questions about any other things that you're um, struggling with that you would like me to uh, address, uh, you can post that down below and I'll do that on one of my days as well.
Hope to see you soon.